<clears throat> Good evening and salutations, my soap opera fans. So question of the night. What is it you like or dislike about Lucy Cole? Now, I'm going to be honest, this chick is annoying. But in today's episode, she did actually lay down some facts. Uh, let's do a quick roll call and get this live stream started. Check your ice cream in the chat. How you doing tonight? Uh, I feel like I'm run I feel like I'm coming down with something. To be honest, I took some Benadryl, so um, hopefully I can make it through this stream. How you doing tonight, Lashanta? Blackmon, aka Mr. GQ, is in the chat. Was good. But yeah, I felt it a few minutes ago. Ronnie Ron is early. My jester has arrived. Um. How you doing tonight, Ron? Okay, we're live. We're good. Dialing. Dialing, how you doing tonight? How is Lucy out of order? Why don't you uh, explain that to the class? How, how is Lucy out of order? Queen of the South is in the chat. What's good? It's good to see you as well, Queen. Hmm. Barbie was good. That's exactly what I was going to sit there. I was mostly out of order today. That's exactly what I was going to sit there and ask. But it is, it is really good to see her again, Dablin. Of course, you know, I got to ask how the queen is doing. You know, I got to ask how the queen is doing. She's the reason Sasha had the guardian. Oh. <laughs> exactly, Darby. Ron, I was not happy with. John wanted to turn himself into the police. She made things worse. But how did she make things worse in the episode? Um, and yeah, now that's just yeah. I, I I'm not gonna lie, Ron. It is definitely stupid. It was definitely dumb. And I saw the preview so it's next week. And Jada once again is out of pocket. CJ Love is in the chat. How are you doing tonight? Hmm. I don't understand how she made things worse. She, here's the thing. The only person that was not Marty stole Blair's idea in the first place. Okay, I, I, I understand that. Marty stole Blair's idea in the first place. Okay, now I get that. But you said she was out of pocket today. How was she out of pocket today? This is what I'm trying to figure out. Because, yeah, I understand that she did a lot of stupidness or whatever, right? I don't still understand the guardianship thing, but, like, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm just not the, the, thank you, Darby. Darby's asking all the right questions tonight. Darby is asking all the right effing questions to me. Cody and Sasha quit. Okay. Cody and Sasha quit. Cody quit because why? Sasha Sasha quit wasn't because of because of um Lucy. Sasha quit because she was just done. She was done with the whole modeling thing. Francis, how you doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Darby. Ron says, Yes, I saw the promise of Jada trying to get Stephanie to leave everywhere. I'm like, Jada, get a damn life. Am I your effing business? You thirsty? <laughs> yes, Ron. I agree. Yeah. Jada is definitely acting like a Karen at this point. It's it's just it's so out of pocket the way she's going. 
I'm doing okay, Francis. I feel like I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. So, you know, that kind of sucks, but I took some Benadryl. So. I'm on that, I'm on that Benadryl tonight. But uh, hopefully I get a good night's sleep tonight. I get really getting rested. And I can take on the day tomorrow. I mean, my whole thing, Lucy was the only person in there. I don't care what she said. Yes, she did. Now she can't pay her bills. Yeah, because she quit. I honestly tell you, what person in their right mind is going to sit there and quit a job before you get another one? And she chose to quit. <laughs> I mean, come on, love. Like, she chose to quit. She already sat there and said, oh, I'm over. I'm done. And Lucy, Lucy was the only person who was sitting there being real with her. Hey, listen, listen, if you quit, you sell your stocks. You got to sell your stocks. If you sell your stocks, it's not going to be as high. You sure you want to do that? While everybody else in that room is sitting there trying to coddle her and trying to sit there and try to get her to stay. How you doing tonight, Amber? Uh, Francis says, Stefan is so dumb. Why would he trust EJ with a handshake? Give him his phone only. With only. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was a little out of pocket when he did that. Okay. <laughs> that that made no sense as well. What was she upset with her about? Max is that they're trying to drag this out and Sasha already wanted to leave. Her foot was already out the door. It was probably out the door a long time ago, if we're gonna be honest. Thank you, Darby. Autumn says, I'm happy Michael realized he can't keep putting Willow in a situation with Jason and it's the right thing to do to do because Michael and Willow have young kids to think about what Jason needs to go. He did actually say that. He was like, yo, listen, uh, I'm glad you're here, but uh, you, you, you need to go. <laughs> he was like, you need to go. Um, and Danny, too. Forget about Danny. And, and, and that, was, that was another thing. That was, that was also out of pocket. Why are you sitting there trying? My whole thing is like, get Blaze. Max is like, oh well, now you done, now you done made Brooklyn angry. So what? Brooklyn works at Deception. They need a new model. Let Blaze be that model. She has a lot of incentives to sit there and get Maxie on board. Damn, I, I wouldn't go that far, Darby. But I'm just saying, like, Francis says. What do you think Jason meant when he told Diane he wouldn't be in jail? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying, Francis, when he was like, yeah, I'm not going to be here for long. Yes, exactly, Francis. Uh, that one says, I've been in my opinion. Lucy acted like she did one Sasha, like she, like she did one Sasha. There's my opinion. She did one Sasha what? I don't understand. Like she wanted Sasha to stay or she was being real with her. I'm actually telling her what she does with business decisions, isn't it? Ron says, Albert, look at how desperate Sloan's getting hit, being, getting hit, hit up for no reason, talking crap about you kidnapped my baby, blah, blah, blah. You need to look in the mirror. Now, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I feel like they did take out a line now. Um, I didn't feel like they got to take out a line. And the call was just so out of pocket today because Sloan was like, listen, I don't forgive you. And Sloan was, and Nicole was like, but think about Holly. Holly wants his I mean, so what? So what, Holly? Yes, I said the same thing too to Havlin. She was like, 
What took you so long? Exactly, on that's exactly what me and Francis are thinking too. And yes, she she's happy to see him. Unfortunately, the circumstances suck. Um, everybody in that damn room was getting so defensive when the only thing Lucy said was, "You don't have an edge to yourself." People already know you. They already they already know you. They know your story. They know your struggles and stuff like that. You don't have that edge anymore. What's good, me, Cobb? It's been a hot minute since I've seen you. Francis says, I think Lucy is pretty useless right now. And that's the thing. All she said was, hey, listen, you don't have that edge anymore. I mean, everyone sat there and was like, I think she's gorgeous. I think she's wonderful. I think she's... No one was sitting there saying that. Why are y'all... Why is everyone in the room, Smith, they're getting so oversensitive about what Lucy said? Uh, Mikab, uh, they weren't on today. Uh, Mikab, they weren't on today and they weren't on yesterday. Uh, March Madness. So basketball and stuff like that, that's the only thing that's going on. So we didn't have those two shows in two days. We're not getting it back to Monday. And I'm not going to lie, I actually do miss them. I think she didn't want Sasha there. Oh, okay. What made you think that? Melly Mama Horror Queen, how you doing tonight? Princess is not, I agree with Lucy says she doesn't really have a story. Valley, you know, it's funny. I was actually thinking about you today. I was like, I haven't seen you in a while. Wonder what Jason's up to. You know, he's going to sit there and get out. Um, jail really quick. Yeah, it looked like it was good from what I saw. It looked like it was good from what I saw. So, um, Hot chocolate, never seen it to last. Um, which, by the way, Heather just, I, I, I saw a little previews of it. Heather just sounds like an idiot. LaShawn says Maxie Jones needs to stick, just needs to stick, oh, stick to wedding, wedding planning. Justin, Chase was too hard on Jason today. He's innocent with a punk. Well, my whole thing is like, you don't even know if he should. He, here's the thing, Justin. He sat there and stared him down like, bro, you can't take this man to fight. I don't understand what makes you, like, he stared him down. And then he's just like, oh, he, he's guilty. First of all, it was two suspects. How do you know Jason's the one that shot him? I get that he doesn't know him too well, but still... Yeah, Valley. Like I said, the the new writing so far is just so out of pocket. Um, Laura cares about Heather. Um, Sam doesn't, you know, has no faith in Jason. There's it, a lot of out of pocket stuff. I was sitting there and saying, a lot of that going around. Exactly. Exactly. So that's exactly what I said. Yeah, it's just uh, it's like the writing. I know that they, they have, to, hopefully it'll get better. Hmm. No, I don't think that she's going to kidnap her. Right, I mean, I have to tell you too, her just act like a Karen is more than enough. And then, you know, she sits there and she talks about code of conduct, but yet she is constantly sitting there harassing this man ever. Getting up in Stephanie's face like, what the hell are you doing? You act like this man owes you anything. You signed the voice papers. Move on. 
got bad news. Kelly as Harrison is exiting to have a recast. Huh. I mean, it's just one child actor for the other. So, I mean, I really. Javelin says, I really think Lucy titles working with Sasha. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so weird. It's, it's yeah, exactly the same black shirt. And it's so weird, though, because when you watch it, like when you watch Days and you watch GH, it's like it's just back to back, you know? It's just like it's just like the Steve Marathon for two hours. LaShawn says, Holt Logan said that she was going to make her own decision in 2024. I have no idea what this chick is doing, but the only thing I can sit there and say is that she is very self-centered. She talks about how she wants to have a relationship with him, but I'm like, you want the relationship on your terms. That's not how that works. You know? You want what you want, but you don't want. You want what you want, but you won't give him what he wants. Selfish. Well, she needs something, Ron. I mean, honestly, tell you, it's not like she's not getting any vitamin D. I mean, she has rape. She's ungrateful as F. Everybody says, Albert, what they're, what they're saying is crazy. I know that sometimes we have to work with people we don't like, but if they make you money, you suck with them. Like Lucy works with Sasha. Exactly. That's why I sat there. It was like everybody in that room was so out of pocket. It was so out of pocket. So, but everyone wants to sit there and blame Lucy for this. And I'm like, I get it. See, the problem is when you don't like a character and when you really don't like a character, everything that they do is, everything that they do, they're wrong. And in this case, she wasn't wrong, but everyone's meant to try to make it seem like, like Lucy was calling her ugly or something. I'm like, y'all can calm down. Spencer says, it's funny how Jason wanted to beat the crap out of Jason. I was laughing my A off because of Jason, because of Jason was going to fight. Oh, yeah, no, he's no match for him. I don't know what in his, I don't know what in his tiny mind make them think that he can take Jason. Jay Blue says, life and mute colors is not for me. Diane Miller. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, I'm glad you did. I, I always sat there, I was like, I didn't see a chess game. I saw a, I saw bits and pieces of that, but okay. Um, it would have been interesting to watch. The shot says Lucy always out of order. How is she, okay, how is she always out of order? See, my whole thing is, I mean, that's kind of a very general blanket statement. She's always out of order. No one, no one can always be wrong. That's the problem with that statement. No one can always be wrong. They do have moments when they're right. Hell, I don't like Jocelyn, but she has moments when she's right. Lucy was right in that situation. She wants to sit there and get blazed. And Max is talking about, oh, well, she's not going to work with you because, you know, Brooklyn don't like you. Okay, well, Brooklyn will sit there and suck it up and be a team player. Because she still works at Deception. LaShawn says the way she talks to people. So, okay, I get that. Right? And I'm not just saying that it's, a, it's nice and it's pleasant. And it, it makes them eat, it makes her easy to work with. Right? But sometimes when, you're, when you have to be truthful, you have to be honest. And you can't sit there and be trying to do that and spare somebody's feelings at the same time. And I'm not just saying it's right. But that's just business, though. Ron says, Albert, I was right about AJ. He needs to be in jail. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, AJ is, is Diablo, right? So I get it, Ron. Exactly. I was like, I was just out there. I was like, sorry. I was like, bro, you need to seriously calm yourself. And like LaShawn, and like LaShawn to say, proven to innocent or proven into guilty or 
innocent to guilty or proven innocent to you know what I'm saying. Dave was good. I would too, Mel, because it would make sense to see that John just turned himself into the police. It's amazing. I thought about that. I was like, John, John didn't even think about that. Oh, well, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to see Godzilla, Anthony. I'm definitely going to do that. Dave. Uh, did you miss me? Because I missed all you. Good to see you, Dave. I hope everything's been well with you, my friend. It seems, seems that Benadryl is actually cooking me. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I mean... <clears throat> Maybe if I watch the first one, I'll definitely watch the second one. Queen Becky D, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Becky. Make sure you do hit that like button because it really does actually help. Is that, thank you, Darby. Yeah, I uh, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. Though. I think it's on my Instagram story, so I probably will watch it before I go to bed tonight. What's good, Duan? Okay, cool. So we got 18 likes. We got 34 people in the chat. So if you are enjoying the stream, make sure you do hit the like button. It really does help. Also, become a member. I'm going to be going um, twice on uh, Members Live. I'm going to be doing once in the morning and then once at night. I'm going to be sitting there dishing a lot of tea, getting into some stuff that I can't get into in here. So you definitely want to join by clicking the, uh, in the pin comment. I mean, that's true. That's true, Duan. Ron says, ask the chat if they want Thomas with Diane, his aunt, because people on Twitter still won't let that go. Um, I don't think anyone wants that. I don't think anyone wants incest. Bradley says, Lucy could have left with Marty. Yeah, I mean, trust me, like I said, I get it. Lucy's annoying. I'll be the first person to sit there and say that she's out of pocket on on some of this on a lot of the stuff that she does. I, I I don't know about to sit there and say that she's wrong every single time. I mean, hell, even a broken clock could be right twice a day. Becky says, all right, I'm a alien Romulus. All right, I'm going to take a look at that. Becky says, Lucy does what she wants without considering other people like Maxi running the company. I mean, I get that. I get that. I do, Becky, do you? I get that. Because trust me, she's, she's done some out-of-pocket stuff, right? And I've dragged her the month like there's no tomorrow i just you know, it's one of those things where it's like she wasn't sugarcoating stuff and max she's talking about oh well maybe you could sit there and go on the lunch break and just kind of think about our decisions i'm like look at this girl she already made up her mind if you're going to be honest the, the look in her eyes looked like she already left the company a long time ago You know, that's, that's my issue. And Lucy's like, no, let's sit there and... 
Yes, I did do one. I, 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 I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I, I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it, but I, I definitely enjoyed it, though. Of course, I'm not going to lie to say part two is just kind of depressing, though. Like I feel like I need I feel like I need to watch Family Guy after watching um episode ten. It's good stuff though. A violent nature horror movie can't watch the trailer. A violent. Let me see if I can. Sometimes I feel like my. Oh, nice. Well, I was trying to, I hope somebody else didn't read that in the chat. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It was just, it was just, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, 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 the show is, is amazing so far, you know? But um, yeah, I was just kind of depressing watching. But I'm I'm here for it though. Yeah, I was I was just gonna sit there and say it was like. What a. I mean, I, I get it, Darby. You know, I mean, I I get it, Duan. Um, I think that's Jonathan was good. Ambassador Sam the Great, how you doing tonight? But um, I was hoping I was hoping people see that's the problem, now, right, Duan? Because like I don't know if Jonathan watched watched the episode. And it's always one of those things where it's like it's kind of annoying because some people didn't watch the episode and you want to talk about it. DC, what is good, my guy? How's life? Of course, Ambassador Sam. Of course, it's always good to sit there and have you in the chat. Jonathan, are you watching um, X Men 97? Like I said, I saw the first few episodes. They're they're really good. Yeah, Darby, I'm not gonna lie. The first episode, I was like, "Yo, this dude is like." I was I was that's what I was genuinely surprised. Like I was like, "Yo, he was he was on point." <laughs> um, I start watching tomorrow. Okay, Becky says Lucy isn't doing what is best for the company long term. Lucy wants quick money. She's shooting holes in their foundation while the company is treading water. All right. I just, I don't... Oh, yeah, no. Um, somebody, yeah, somebody told me about that. I didn't watch the first one yet, but um, as so I was like, if I watch the first one, then yeah. What's good, DC? How is life? How is everything going for you? But well, they really don't. They really don't. And that's kind of the problem. It's like, I was so shocked at how good he was in the first episode. I was like, I almost felt like it was a completely different character. Kimberly, how have you been? Another person I've been thinking about, I was like, I haven't seen her in a while. Look, uh, Kimberly says, I came to form you. I'm done with days. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I get it. Trust me, Kimberly, I get it. I mean, it's unfortunate because you do have to scab writers. So. Hopefully when it starts to pick up, Kimberly, you can start watching again. You see some good. I'm considering doing a review on something non-so. Oh, okay. Wow. 
I gotta see. I gotta see what this is then. You know, that's. I mean, that's cool. Now, hopefully, that comes through because I mean, people been waiting for a Thundercats movie for years, like a live action for years, and Popeye too. Um, when Lucy has lied to, she didn't create deception. Cody, mom dominated. I guess I'm trying to understand what did Co what did Lucy did today that was so out of pocket. Yeah, like I said, that's why I said I was like I didn't I didn't see that coming. I was like, and he. <laughs> See, I kind of don't want to sit there and spoil it for Jonathan, but it was like the way he did it. It was just like, bro, are you good? Are you trying to, are you trying to delete yourself? And then he did that. Was like, oh, well, I didn't see that coming. It would be cool, um, Jonathan. Like I said, we've been waiting for that for a hot minute. Yeah, I know. I haven't actually, I haven't drunk in a while. It's not that I don't like drinking anymore. It's just like, usually I have to wake up too early in the morning. And if I drink, it's going to be hard for me to wake up. I do miss it though. I just have to find the right, I have to find the right day where I can sit there and, and actually drink, you know? And no one's going to have to wake up super early the next day. Kimberly says characters are too out of character and I'm so tired of XGA's characters and then making EJ pay for others' deeds. Yeah, I've never, I never actually watched them. I never actually watched the show. My friend was watching the show. Yes, Kimberly, that's exactly what Melanie was talking about. So I'm happy that they're finally going to do it. Debbie says, I'll tell you what Lucy did. She acted like a... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Darby. She acted like a damn boss. And Damon was good. I wonder what John Case was talking about in the, in the previews. Was good, Damien. ZK says, what I like about Lucy is she is her own woman. She makes her money and is a good businesswoman. Say she was over the top. Over the top in a good way or over the top in a bad way? Because people have been sniffing saying that she's been out of pocket all day today and I'm trying to figure out what is she doing wrong? Okay, Jonathan. I'm trying to figure out what does she do wrong? She let Sasha know, hey, listen, if you quit, this is what's going to wind up happening. Becky says Lucy got rid of Cody and then talked down to Sasha until she walked, until she walked too, and she didn't bother to discuss it with Maxie first. And then talked down to Sasha. Okay, I mean, I will, you know, I, I will respectfully agree to disagree with that one, but okay. And LaShanta said, first of all, Lucy insulted Cody. Yeah, exactly. That was rude. She was rude to Sasha. How is she rude to Sasha? If she was a team player, she would have ran it by her partner. She acted like it was all alone. All right, let me just answer Mel's question. Um, I think Maxie in Brooklyn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Wing Wing said, this is why you don't mix business with people you have. Is it? Thank you, Wink. Uh, you say she was straight up rude to Cody. Is that, and I, that I can agree. That I can agree, ZK. And that's the same thing where um, LaShanta was sniffed there saying. And thank you, Darby. Max is too nice to her friends, namely Brooklyn, who betrayed her twice. I agree with that, Damon. I guess so. I guess so, Spencer. He would. Okay.
I okay, I get that. Like, yes, Becky, I can agree on that with with Cody because that was out of pocket, right? Barring that, barring with that being said, she wasn't wrong though. The only reason why they actually kept Cody around was to make Sasha happy, right? And I don't understand how she was talking down to her. She basically let her know, hey, listen, if you leave the company, X, Y, and Z is going to happen. And the shares that you have, they're not going to be worth what you originally bought them for. So that's the part where I'm trying to understand how does she talk down to her? Because honestly, tell you, Maxie wasn't doing it. Maxie was literally sniffed at trying to call to her and she already made up her mind. Now, Darby says, but Cody was out of order. He didn't have a voice making decision. He sat there and he made it personal. Lucy sat there and said, you don't have edge. And Cody got out of the pocket by Snitch saying, by trying to defend her looks, which wasn't what Lucy said. And honestly, tell you the truth, with that being said, she he then sat there and decided to quit. He was like, oh, well, I'm going to sit there and quit. With an attitude. So I think what Lucy did was match her, match his energy. Was it professional? No, but. Was new to me. I can say that. Michelle says, Albert, my love modeling is a cutthroat business. I was approached at 17 for modeling because of my being Irish and Norwegian. I turned it down because I wanted to work in medicine as a nurse. Exactly. It's cutthroat. That sounds interesting, though. I mean, I saw the first Winnie the Pooh. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but I'm going to watch the second one now. I'm going to watch the second one now. That's exactly what she said. She only said that to try to make Sasha stay against her will for financial reasons. Okay, all right. That's, that's your take, okay. Exactly, Ambassador Sam. All she did was match, her energy, match his energy. You want to sit there and be rude and nasty and take what I see out of pocket. And they go do on with the trolling comment. I was waiting for that one. ZK says Lucy was all business with Sasha. I had no problem with that. But Maxie wanted some time out so all could cool down before making decisions. I get that. Amazing, gorgeous Scott lady. Albert is always on the wrong side of the show. Lucy is Lu Okay, what what is she, okay? What did Lucy do? What did Lucy do that was out of pocket? If you watch today's episode, what did Lucy do that was out of pocket between today and yesterday's episode? I just, I guess, I sit there and I look at it, and I have a hard time trying to understand. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but I get it. That's, that's your opinion, and I respect it. Darby says if Maxie wanted to be in charge, she can't always be Switzerland with her friends in business. Exactly. Like I, and, and I get it. I get it. What she said to Cody was out of pocket. But Cody, you were out of pocket in general. What Lucy was saying that they gave you was constructive criticism. You might have liked it. But it is what it is. Michelle says, I really hope Drew doesn't turn against his brother, Jason. Hey, he's already snipped and not giving the benefit of the doubt. Lashanta says, obviously, one plays as the face without talking to Sasha. I mean, from what I heard, she said she wanted a second face. She, she wasn't sent to trying to replace her. That's that's the thing. She didn't sit there and say, well, I want you to sit there and leave. I want you to take a step back and we'll bring in Blaze. She said, I wanted somebody else to sit there and assist you. 
That's, I mean, that's, that's what I heard LaShawn saying. Yes, Peter. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested about Peter Pan. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Peter Pan stuff. No, I mean, I get that. I just, I don't see that happening. Though. So, I mean, like, I, I get it. Spencer says Drew is already against Jason because Jason stole his woman the minute he showed up in town. So he already has a grudge. Stoop has a um, grudge, stupid, but that's GH for you, yes. Okay, I, I get that part. I get that part. I get that part, LaShanta. Kelly says, OMG, bro, she went in a simple meeting and wrecked the whole damn meeting ended up with two people quitting how is that smart she don't talk to maxi about nothing you heard wrong <laughs> okay um i mean that's 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 an interesting take i'll say that that's that's an interesting take Let's talk. Okay. Yes, man, I heard about that. Uh, a cartoon series. Unless it's an actual, like, live action. I think it's a cartoon, if I understand. Oh, nice, Michelle. Yeah, just, uh, when you come back, let us know. Let me um, let us know how the how the trip was. I, <laughs> I'm like, you know, honestly, I'm gonna let that go. I mean, it's like I said, that's very interesting that you. That's what you took away from. Um, I heard he might. I heard you, my Francis, but I'm I'm very. It's interesting. That's your takeaway from it because when I looked at it, she didn't just Sasha didn't just quit. She thought about that for a while. And she told Maxie today. So Sasha quitting was something that she seemed like she wanted to do anyway. Cody quitting. Let's be honest. Again, she was only Cody was only there to sit there and make Sasha happy. When Cody was so out of pocket in general. You're you're getting upset for constructive criticism and talking about you're going to quit. Lucy's like you're under contract, right? So in, in reality, Lucy's not there trying to save you some money from breaking your contract, but somehow this turned into this is all Lucy's fault. Jay Blue said coding question was a reaction. Exactly. It was it was a in his feelings moment. You don't put your feelings in business. It'll be when it... Yeah, exactly. Man. Like I said, I'm looking forward to well I'm gonna watch Winnie the Pooh too. I'm looking forward to actually all of that. Unstrong what Peter Pinocchio unstrung? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Lucy needs her own medicine. Well, it's, it's very, like I said, it's very interesting. Y'all takes on it. I'll say that. J. Blue said, I guess the optics made Lucy look like everything was her fault. Is that what she, this, that's part of it, J. Blue. Let's be honest. I really feel like 
when you already dislike Lucy anyway, it's easy to make Lucy the, the villain in this situation. Because Lucy does do things that irritate people. The problem is when I when I'm looking at her character, they go off of their emotions. They don't go off of like it's in their eyes, Lucy is already at fault. Two people leaving. It's it's interesting. Dave Nicofany and Jen Anderson's return, but I don't know. Hmm. I gotta look into that one now. That is very interesting. <laughs> I I mean exactly, kind of lady. I I want to hear their opinions too. I want to hear their opinions too. Like I said, it's it's an interesting take. I'll say that much, kind of lady. Wink Wink says, baby, where Lucy is involved with a, whenever Lucy is involved with a man or out of the country or in hiding over some dumb scheme, Max is the one keeping deception running. Lucy or Max the courtesy of discussing it first. Discussing Blaze being the new face. Because here's, a, I, I don't, okay. I, I guess maybe that was like a split decision um, to sit there and hire Blaze, but that's only because Sasha says she didn't want to do it anymore and she doesn't have Edge. So, they didn't, you know, Lucy didn't sit there and try to replace Sasha with Blaze. She just said, hey, listen, we'll add another face. Yes, I actually did, Jonathan. I did. I actually have my notes for... for um, for it as well. Becky says nobody else blew up that discussion meeting, Albert. <laughs> uh, put my comments together. Kelly says to Two people is wrong. Oh, two people is wrong. Cody stepping out was right on his part. She just put him down in front of everyone. No, you don't come after a man like that. That's a no no. What? I'm. I don't really understand that. I mean, I get that, ZK, but the thing is, think about what, okay. All right, first of all, I'm trying to answer everyone's question. So if I do miss your comment, don't get upset. Um, let's get Gemini. Gemini says Lucy has always been flighty, but at her age, but at her age is becoming way, way annoying. No, no, Damon. Um, Gladys, Gladys, pretty much spent all her money. Lashanta says, "I bet at first Lucy went ablaze, and Tracy said no." Okay, that I understand. I understand that. I'm talking about in today's episode, between today and yesterday's episode. Like I get before, it was it was kind of out of pocket what she did. Michelle says, can I ask my question? Jewish fan, am I wrong for teaching my daughter her? No. I don't think it's I don't think it's I don't think it's wrong. That's part of her heritage. Wink Wink says Lucy's just getting a second face of deception, which is what threw the entire meeting off. When she previously suggested Blaze, it was because Sasha wasn't working and they were going to replace her. I don't remember her. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
let's let's talk about that for a minute, right? And again, if I missed your comment, please not get upset. Um, also, I feel like I'm coming down with something, so I took some Benadryl, so I'm extra slow on some of the comments. But let's talk about that for a minute, right? Emasculating him in front of everyone else. People are so people are so upset with Lucy for what she did to Cody, but no one's not the same what Cody did to Lucy. Okay, that's interesting. No one's not they're talking about what Cody did. The only thing that Lucy said was, hey, listen, you don't have an edge to you anymore. What Cody did was take what she said and blew it out of proportion. And that's another thing, Darby. Thank you. The, the masculine a man has nothing to do with business. He was out of pocket and she was like, hey, listen, if you don't like it, you can sit there and quit. Because Lucy didn't say anything wrong to Cody, and Cody tried to take that as Lucy was insulting Cody's. I mean, Cody took it as though Lucy was Smith they're trying to insult Sasha's looks, and that's not what she was doing. So this whole demasculating him is something that she didn't do. Cody was out of pocket first, if we're going to be real. Because she took what he, she took, he took what she said and he blew it out of proportion. It's called matching energy. There was no way to conduct a meeting. Now there was, okay, there's, there was no way to conduct a meeting. Yeah, it's not on, on both of their ends. If we're going to be honest, we're, we're putting all the blame on Lucy, but no one's not there saying what Cody did was out of pocket. DC says, not demasculating a man has nothing to do with business. Thank you. And Wink says, let's be honest, Lucy was right. Cody was a terrible model. Darby says, Lucy didn't... It, Lucy didn't say anything that a regular boss wouldn't say any other day. Kelly says Lucy was Lucy was very high and she talked down about Cody looks over with blank. Cody did nothing wrong but step up for Sasha like any man who loves someone would. And Lucy called him out. Lucy called him all kinds of stuff, and you're saying, what? Wow. <laughs> but stepping up for Sasha, like any man who, how is that stepping up? How is that? <laughs> Lucy was the only, okay, I'm trying to read everyone's comments, so just give me a second. Johnson says, everyone step your back, and Jada's going as, no, Jada's acting like a Karen. Let's be very clear about that. Kelly says, I Lucy was the only trainer coming in that meeting that was rude. Okay. Jay Blue said Lucy was only repeating what the magazine guy said. Sasha looks too wholesome. What for what they wanted. Exactly. But people are sitting there, you know, that's my whole thing though. No one's sitting there saying what Cody did was out of pocket, but with Lucy Exactly, Darby says Cody got out of pocket and Lucy shot him back in the pocket.
So, I get what you're saying, wink, wink, as far as decorum. But then you got to sit there and say, well, what's the what's the bottom line between decorum and sugarcoating, right? Thank you, Darby. I mean, uh, thank you, Black Mind. Yes, make sure you hit that like button because it it does help. Where are we on the likes? <laughs> Lucy went to <laughs> uh, Lucy went too far. Thank you, Black Mon. The problem is, Jonathan, she's been doing that ever since ever it came into town. And what she's doing is borderline harassment. Autumn says, hey, Albert Phyllis was so childish. I'm like, girl, girl, because when Christian and Danny was in the office having a conversation, she was listening to the whole convo. I'm like, you're almost 60. Yeah, that's never, that's, that's very true, Autumn. But you know, Phyllis is usually out of pocket. I agree with that one, but you know, that's Phyllis is just a lot. <laughs> and a lot of times she's annoying. Darby says Lucy didn't call Cody a bum, but she did show him his place at deception. Exactly. I know, I saw that. And Teresa seemed like she had a problem with it out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, okay, Teresa. I knew that was going to happen, though, because I mean, let's be honest, Kristen got to be with somebody. You know, Michelle, a lot of people are going to have to sit there and apologize. Sam is going to have to apologize. Um, Jake is going to have to sit there and apologize, even though he can kick rocks. But um, like I said, the chat has some interesting theories about the quorum and talking down and emasculating people when in reality, no one's not there talking about what Cody did. But she used Cody to calm Sasha down. Huh? <laughs> uh, I felt like I felt for Lucy. How else should she have? For Thank you. Listen, they're trying to make it seem like you have to be nice and gentle and and sweet and 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 sugarcoat things. And in reality, well, I, I get that part, Darby, but I'm talking about apologizing for assuming that Jason saw Dante. One Crinks' difference is the difference is you tell your overweight friend squeeze into a size four that the outfit doesn't work. You don't say now you look like. <laughs> um, okay. See, my whole thing is that the thing that I, I feel like everyone is, is, is getting on is the fact that she talked about how he was a stable boy, right? And yes, I understand that. That was definitely out of pocket. But when Cat Lady said that Cody was defending the person that he loved, defending her from what? Constructive criticism? Because that's all Lucy was doing. And Cody, in a professional meeting, decided to get in his feelings. And people are sitting there saying that. And here's the thing I'm not even sitting there saying I like Lucy. But I don't think that people understand what it's like to sit there and work in fashion. Yeah, you know, uh, Caesar, I, I think you you wrote that, right? Did you actually share that video? Because I'm kind of pretty sure I asked you if you shared the video, uh, Caesar. Uh, 
And you know, Caesar, I got to look into that too. I've been so busy, but I got I got to look into that. Maybe I'll do it. Yeah, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I mean, I, and I I get that symptom. I think it might have been. And Kelly says yes, and the way Lucy was speaking to Sasha, Cody got upset. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Um, Becky says Lucy got the shoe canceled in the first place. Or did Lucy get the shoe canceled, or did the director not in this thing? How did Lucy get the, the shot, the, the photo shoot canceled? They had the photo shoot. The director couldn't really convey what Sasha wanted her to do. Sasha had to really sit there and stop and be like, all right, listen, tell me what you want, and I'll sit there and accommodate you. As a director, it's your job to simply direct the model the way you want them to do it. And all the direct and, and at the end, all Lucy said was they didn't like. The, you know, the type of model that they wanted in the shoe. So how was that Lucy's fault for getting the, how how did Lucy get the, the photo shoot canceled? Okay. All right, Caesar, I will do that. I mean, like I said, Caesar, I'll find out some more stuff. I will definitely do another video. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Darby. That's that's my whole thing, though. I mean, Becky D's my girl, right? But I guess I'm just kind of looking at it, it's like, well, how did how did she get the photo shoot canceled? That's what I. That's what they said when they first came in. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I didn't I didn't get that, but okay. Uh, Ron says, Albert, why Kristen don't want anyone else? So if Brady is dead, she'd rather be single. Yeah, she definitely does. She definitely does. Um, has an obsession. You know, it, Caesar is actually pretty interesting. Sam Pepper because him and his girlfriend are toxic as hell. Like, literally, they're super toxic. And apparently she stole money out of his bank account. But there's nothing he can do about it because he can't come to the States to sit there and try to arrest her and they're still married. It's like the definition of a toxic relationship. It's, it's actually pretty sad. And I don't want to sit there and say funny, but they both seem super petty and immature. The fact that they got married is... That was laughable. It's like, Jesus Christ, that's what a relationship? Well, that's not a relationship. I don't know what that is. But thank you for reminding me, because that's another video I got to sit there and do. Michelle's Albert, do you think my theory holds weight that Casey is and Sonny's son, Morgan? It's possible, but I don't, you know, Michelle, I don't think they're going to bring Morgan back. I think it's more possible that Jason's either protecting Sonny or Carly. And I think it's I think it's Sonny. It'd be nice if we got back Morgan. I'll say that much, but Big Nate. Uh only two was playing and they were both average. Not bad. And that's days of our lives in general hospital. Still match Mar um still March Madness. Um, Link says, I think the leverage is Carly or Sonny, too. 
Yeah. I, unfortunately, Wayne, I think it's going to be sunny. And I wish it would. I, I think it's going to be sunny. Even though Sonny does not deserve the loyalty that Jason is giving him. Yeah, I, and I agree with that, LaShanta. I 100% agree with that. Sonny does not deserve that level of loyalty. Johnson says, I think there's a chance for Morgan to come back. <clears throat> you think it's a chance? Or are you, <clears throat> is that wishful thinking? Or like, what way do you think? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, there's always a chance. I don't know if it's probable, but I think it's a chance, though. Of course, I would have to sit there and be like, somebody needs to go. <laughs> oh, you didn't watch? Oh, okay. You know, Cherry Ice Cream, you can sit there and try to watch it on YouTube. You know, unless you have Hulu. Since I said that leverage he got on Jason must be airtight because Jason would never let his yes I agree with that Spencer. LaShawn said do you think when Claire when Carly ran I think it might have been I think it might have been I wish I wish it's Carly that Jason's trying to protect that's true. That's true, Jonathan. I always say things say if we don't find a body, then yeah. Yeah, I mean you know now, yeah, I agree with that to some extent because I'm not a fan of standalone episodes, but it it wasn't the best, even for a standalone episode. Apparently it says no, but it's Carly. No, Albert, is Carly what's wrong with you? Jason said, they have something over my head that I cannot say. That's something on Carly. That's what I was going to say. Like, I hope it's Carly. Oh, I know, Charis can trust me. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. But trust me, when I sit there and try to watch um young and restless or even general hospital it's it's yeah and you know Jerry Oskin, they, they play the music in the back this way that the video doesn't get taken down i hope so damien i hope it's i hope it's carly that jason's protecting j blue says sasha said her feelings were hurt this is how they talk in business sasha said she's a different person from when she started the job She's not putting the blame on Lucy. Exactly. But yet, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't understand. I, I feel like, and this is, is just my opinion, and you can agree with me or disagree with me. I feel like a lot of people are coming down on Lucy extra hard with this whole meeting thing because you, you generally don't like Lucy. You know? Lucy got the photo shoot um, canceled. Lucy was unprofessional when she talked to Cody. And it's like, I get that people don't like Lucy. Trust me, I do. You know, Jay Blue, she was running the mob for a hot minute. Spencer said, get the leverage of Sam. I'm going to be. <laughs> I I agree with that, Spencer. Sam has been out of pocket, so it's it's possible. Maybe Cat Lady. I'm going to think outside the box. What if it's something on his twin brother and he's trying to protect Drew? That's not a possibility, Michelle. Lashanta says, you don't up and quit your job on the fly and have no way to pay your bills. 
is that, and that's exactly what Sasha is doing, which is really stupid. Kelly says, I love Lucy. I just know her. I mean, I get that, but your Smith is saying what Cody did was totally fine. Protecting the woman that he loves. What was you protecting her from? Constructive criticism? Because the last time I checked, that's how the fashion, that's how the fashion industry works. And to be honest, if we're if you if you're gonna sit there and, and get into it, I heard they're a lot harder than what Lucy said. So while Cody Smith they're getting out of pocket in his feelings, I'm like, bro, you can go. Jay Blue says, you're saying that if it was someone else saying what Lucy said in a meeting, people reaction would have been, I feel like it would have been. I feel like it would have been. What's good, Alyssa? How are you doing? Jonathan says, but if Sam is leverage, she's going to be sorry for doubting Jason. You know, Jonathan, she should be sorry for doubting Jason in general, regardless, but yes. Since this is, I know violence against women, even on a soap opera show, is a little questionable, especially since it's a family show. If I were Jason, I would slap the crap at. I would slap the crap at a slam. I would slam and keep slamming. I'm doing good, Alyssa. I'm coming down, coming down with a cold, but I'm hanging in there. Took some Benadryl, so now it's like I'm super drowsy. But I hope you're good, Alyssa. Been thinking about you. I missed you in the chat. J Blue says people quit jobs on the fly without a backup plan. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it makes it makes life harder. Sasha said her happiness is more important. Okay, I hope her happiness is gonna be really important when she's out on the streets. <laughs> Because honestly, tell you, that's some very wishful, naive thinking. Thank you, Alyssa. I think I'm be all right. I'm going to get some good sleep tonight. Uh, Darby said, did you say Sam Spencer? No, we were talking about somebody else. Um, I was talking about another YouTuber. But I, I said, yeah. Now I was talking about somebody else. Let's say, yeah, me too. Sloan got on my nerves today. I get that, Alyssa. I felt like Nicole was doing a little bit extra, though. Like, she's pretty much like, I don't want you to actually. <laughs> you know, Cat Lady, I wish you, I wish you did. I mean, you know me, Cat Lady. I'm very polite, but I'm like, yo, listen, your character's out of pocket. J Blue says Sasha will be fine. I've personally done that, and the universe was my safety net. Okay. Okay, I, I respect that. Johnson says, What kind of game do you think Constantine is playing because there's no way he actually forgives John? No, he just wanted him to stay in the States so this way he can use the card and Jock can sit there and delete his wife. That's what I think, because if you went to jail, that's not really a lot of revenge. Alyssa, I know Nicole was extra, but I felt for her. Oh, you know, Alyssa, you have a bigger heart than me. <laughs> I can say this, you have a bigger heart than me. So I give you a lot of props. Alyssa said, the days in the soaps, I miss Luke. Oof, okay. Kelly says, yes, and you can cook for her anytime. Kelly, I'm going to cook for you. How do you feel about that? I'm going to cook for you. Becky says, I think people might think differently if Sasha had wanted to be a model. If I remember right, they talk Sasha in a model. Yes. Yes, you're exactly right. I mean, I, I get that. I get that, Alyssa. I just think it was out of pocket for her to sit there and try to use 
her daughter to guilt her into still hosting a hosting a christening. You know, especially as she was like, "Hey, listen, no offense, but I don't, I can't rock with you. Like, I can't forgive you." And the minute she does that, she tries to use her daughter as some sort of manipulation. Like, oh, Holly's really happy. She wants to sit there and do the christening and stuff like that. And it's like, why are you using your daughter to sit there and try to guilt trip her? Ron says, I forbid you from going to the next fan event because they will boo your woman. So they watch us and don't. <laughs> uh, it was good unlimited. And he says, I'm on a diet. Yeah, but you don't even know what I'm cooking yet, though. I mean, I can cook something that's like, you know, dietary food. Yes, Spencer, yeah. Uh, Steve, Steve Burton or Button has, yes, two years. Which, honestly, tell you, I can respect that. I can respect that because he's been acting for a very long time. So, thank you. Dari says, Sloan is doing too much keeping that part-time. I'm glad you said part-time, Bunk, because I was like, he technically does have a job right now. That's true. I mean, he can extend it or he can retire. I'm just saying, kind lady. You just have to tell me what you're not alert, what you're not, what you are allergic to. I got you. Asanta says, I want Lucy to know her boy toy is the reason deception tank while she was so nasty to everyone. I want Lucy to know her boy toy. Hmm? J Blue says, how is everyone liking the new GH writer storylines? <laughs> hmm. Oh, Martin, okay. Well, you know, that's what I mean, that's what it makes sense, Darby. That's why you gotta call him a, a part-time um part-time bum now. You know, Mel, I'm I'm looking forward to it at this point because I thought the story was stupid from get go when she agreed to give money and you know give um Leo money and then put him on an allowance. I'm like allowance. Most people would have sat there and try to just Thanos you, but not only are you give him, not only are you give an end, but you're sitting there budgeting his blackmailing. Like what? Well, you know, listen, I just can't wait for it to come out in general. Well, that's the that's the thing, Ron. Her card already did decline. When Chris said, I just started watching Days. I just started watching Days starting from the last year, and the first thing I clocked was Eric is a bum. Yes. Always sit there and say, wink, wink. He is, he's a good-looking bum. I'll say that much. Jay Blue says, I still don't know how Marty got away with being the one that stole it. And Lucy got the blame. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting, Jonathan. Um, you know, it's always interesting that they're seeing their personalities and how they play off each other. And I think it's an okay, it's an okay exit. Because you know the actor's leaving for a little bit too. What's we'll good, Tracy Steves? Happy Friday. Michelle says, Michael, I mean, Michelle says, I'm so, I'm playing detective on what if the leverage is about the thing Drew did while brainwashed, thinking he was Jason. He doesn't remember a lot of his missions. 
Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's a little far fetched, but I don't. Th I don't think that he. I don't think that Jason will be working that hard for Joe. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a. I mean, that's a good question, Jonathan. But you know, at this point, I'm just like, I've seen him do worse as far as trying to explain stuff. Spencer Zaba, who do you think was better? Jason, Billy Miller, God rest his soul, or Steve? I was just going to say Steve. I, but, you know, to be fair, Spencer, I'm biased. I grew up with Steve. Um, I think Billy played a very interesting Jason. So I give him his credit for that. But I'm 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 gonna pick Steve. I would sit there and say Steve. Because he's stuck between two men that don't like that don't like him that like that. Alamir says, actually, Martin was never discussed the concept. And actually, Alamir Martin never discussed the concept with Lucy. They just had similar ideas. Yeah, and apparently, and that's weird because apparently it was enough to sit there and sue, which is. You know, Jonathan, then that would be a good thing. I mean, I, I get that those characters are there for, like, the romance and the lovey-dovey stuff, but it's like every time I watch Johnny Chanel, I'm just like... So at least if they do that, they give the character something to do. I will say that. You know, my whole, you know, that's my whole thing now, Ron, because you're not a fan of Johnny um, Wink. That's my whole thing with, with um, Stefan. Because honestly, to tell you, it was a very scumbag move for him, for, um, him trying to take down Abram. Spencer says, I think Billy did a good job playing Jason at some parts, but there were certain parts where I thought he was a little too silly or to go for him. Hmm. That's an interesting take. Like I said, I give him his props because he took the character and he kind of made it his own, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. And to be honest, it always makes me wonder, did Jason just not have that much of a memorable personality? Because when Billy took over, it's like, it was like he was just playing himself. Hopefully so, Jonathan. Although I I doubt it. You mean I'm stuck in? Oh, him knowing it, that's true. But in reality, I was like, well, you don't actually chose EJ. You fired Melinda based off your feelings. Yeah, I've been I've been saying the same thing with Shantan. I've been saying the exact same thing. I'm like, it's like he's Cyrus and all this stuff, but he doesn't have the money to actually do some of the stuff that he's pulling off. So it's just, it's never really made a lot of sense to me. 
Spencer says, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, Albert. There's a scene where him and Elizabeth were, I think, upstairs in the hospital, and he was just screaming out, he's the king of the world. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely out of pocket. But I don't know, Spencer. I feel like maybe I'm just, because I'm on Benadryl, I'm just like, again, maybe the Jason character just doesn't really have a personality. So it's like you kind of have to fill in a void. With that being said, I don't know if it's really his fault for being all goofy and stuff because it's like you got to fill it with something. Elements says Blair never developed her product, but because Martin had a relationship with them both, it could look crazy in court. Yeah, from what I heard, I, I feel like they said it was enough evidence to sit there and support the lawsuit. Elements says Jason has a personality. What is his personality then? I mean, everyone has, okay, everyone has a personality. But with Jason, it's not a personality that is so bright and like noticeable where it's like, I mean, hell, I mean, I've been a Jason fan for years. So maybe it's just the Benadryl talking, but. Blank says, I just watched Johnny still trip hospital ID to find out EJ Blank test back when Stefan was blanking. Oh, wow. Yeah, you went that far. That's true. Unlimited. Unlimited said, Jason is animated. Is that what you mean? Something like that. It's like. Carly has a personality, right? So finding somebody that can bring out the Carly personalities or even Jocelyn to some extent. But Jason is a lot more calmer and I guess in some ways. Let me say I study personality, so I don't think everyone needs to have this have the same personality. Well, yes, but if you're playing a character that does embody certain personality, like certain personality elements, you need to find somebody that can actually do that. Now says, Albert, well, at least the story when Abe having amnesia finally all would become a... Yeah, no, I mean, I, yes, I am happy about that now, that they did move those stories, especially Abe's storyline, because it's been going on for a while. It's just a sloppy way that they want to doing it. That's the problem. That's my issue. I feel like they could have been more creative to sit there and give A back his memories other than just having a guardian angel come down do this. Mm. You know, Alyssa, in a, in a lot of ways, I'm kind of, you wouldn't have liked me earlier, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you wouldn't have liked me earlier, and I'm, I'm going to sit there and say this much just to give you a heads up, Alyssa, because I like you. You're not going to like me next week. You're not going to like me next week. The shot just says, Jason makes... Speaks on um, Jason speaks few words and makes a statement. Well, yes. Carly says, I named Jocelyn and Lucy the, loose, the losers of the week. Am I? Oh, I gotta watch it. Ron says, I would not only say EJ be disbanded from day, he needs to be in jail alongside his. Well, I mean, yes, I can agree with that, Ron. I can agree with that. But um, yeah, I'll just sit there and say that I was. So you're not gonna you're not gonna like me next week. Oh, you wouldn't like me earlier. Hmm. Spencer says. I can kind of see why Jason is very loyal to Sonny because without Sonny, his parents were going, 
we're just going to put him in an institution and treat him like he was mentally. Let's say you think I won't be happy. No, I'm just, I'm just, you know how I tend to sit there and, no, just, you know how I tend to drag certain characters. And I'm going to be honest, Alyssa, I know that you like Jada, but, um, yeah, I was, I was, I wasn't dragging her hardcore, but there were certain things she was doing that I felt like it was out of pocket. I, I mean, I get that too, Spencer, but like, in all reality, the only thing that Jason did, the only thing that Sonny did was manipulate a, a brain damaged kid and it's not they're doing his bidding. If we're going to be honest, but I get that point. Plus, I like Jada, but she was being a hypocrite. Okay, cool. All right. I respect that, Alyssa, because you can admit that. So I respect that. That's true. I mean, specifically to Damaris, but yes. Interior screen says 37. I guess 37 likes, hopefully. When Chris says, AB, you should try these old noodles that they made by a company called Snapdragons. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down and yes, Alyssa. Yes. I'm I'm glad you agree with me on that. Um, I circled that so this way I won't forget. Thank you, Wink. But I'm so glad that you agree with me on that. I'm pretty sure I probably said that in my review also. And also the live stream. Oliver says he treated Jason like a person understood him for the new person he was because they didn't have a relationship prior. Yes, I can see that part as well. I can I can definitely see that part as well. But at the same time, since it says yes, that is true, if we're going to break um, speak honestly, yeah, Sonny definitely took advantage of a brain damage, a brain damaged person, especially during the ELQ board meeting of or Jason sold his stocks down. That's what I was, and that's the thing, Limited. Both of y'all are right. It just really depends on how you look at it. Let's say Jada is dating Ray, so she doesn't have any room to talk. I said the same thing. I said the same thing, Alyssa, on top of the fact that she knew that Teresa was, well, on candy and didn't report her. So, that's a, see, but my bigger issue, Alyssa, is not so much, yes, the hypocrisy is bad. Her being overboard a lot of times is what bothers me. Like, I understand she was concerned for Harris, but you're stepping over the line. And that's not the first time that she, it feels like she doesn't know boundaries. Even on something where she knows there, even something on where her heart is in the right place. But listen, um, I was actually supposed to sit there and probably leave a little bit before, but this was actually a lot of fun, so I did wind up staying later, because you know how these conversations go. When they're good, I lose track of time. But seeing how this Benadryl is kicking in, I think I'm going to end the stream here. But I do want to thank everyone for joining. This is really great. I appreciate every single one of y'all um, coming in and hanging out on this Friday night. Thank y'all so much. If you are members, I'm going to be doing my live stream at 12 as long as I'm not, as long as I can get out of bed. I'm going to be doing my um, live streaming in the morning or in the afternoon and then at night. So definitely come through. 
Mel says, I would, well, you have not called out Zen and Sarah for a while because I love that. I mean, yeah, they, they didn't really give me a, they didn't really give me material to sit there and call them out. So, but yes, have a good night, unlimited, have a good night, Tracy. Thank you, Jay Blue. You have a great weekend. It was really good to see you. I'll try to make it before I do my podcast. Yes, thank you. Have a have a good night, Ambassador Sam. Have a good night, Lashanta. And yes, Alyssa, thank you. Um, I'm definitely going to sit there and try to try to come through tomorrow. So I always enjoy watching you and the ladies kind of do your thing. Have a good night, Ron. Have a good night, Lashanta. Have a good night, gorgeous cat lady. Thank you, Terry Ice Thank you. I think a little bit of rest, and I think it'll be all right. You too, Alyssa. It was really good to see you. Have a good night, Ronnie Ron. Have a good night, Lashanta, Darby, Unlimited, Ambassador Sam, Cherry Ice Cream, Tracy Steve, Blackmon, Jonathan, CJ Love, Kimberly. Alyssa says, I heard tomorrow's episode will make me not want to agree with a certain take. Oh, okay. I'm, now I'm really curious about that. I'm really curious about that, Alyssa. Have a good night, Duan. Thank you for joining. This was really great. If I didn't say good night to you, you know exactly who you are. And um, thank you for coming to the stream. Have a good night, everyone. Stay safe. Ambassador Sam, Alyssa said, I will be surprised. Like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to us, Dad. Johnson says, join us next time for another edition of Soap Chop with our Bostic. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. It was good to see you. And hopefully... Yes, thank you, Jonathan. Make sure you do hit that like button on the way out. Really does actually help, especially the replays when people watch. Hopefully you get a chance to watch um the first two episodes so we can talk about it. Uh, of um the X-Men show. Happy night, Miley Mama Hard Queen. Good to see you. And have a good night again, Ambassador Sam. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you in the next live stream.